vehicles are driven by people. Everything we do at Volvo has always been about taking care of the people in our products. In today's world, everybody is stressed for time. Time has become that, uh, that thing in life which you just never have enough of. Volvo's perspective on autonomous driving is to fix what's broken about driving, which is high traffic situations in metropolitan areas, and do it as fast as possible. There's a lot of technology talk around autonomous driving, and instead we wanted to do what's uh, right for us as a brand, which is to really put people at the center of each question that we pose. Humans in general want to have a sense of control in most things they do. In the autonomous experience, it's no different. We propose that you should be allowed to drive when you want to and delegate driving when you want to. The three modes in C26, the drive, create, and relax mode, are all about freedom. Each mode is specifically designed to make the time in the vehicle as meaningful as we can possibly make it. We also wanted to ensure that, that the first autonomous cars out there feel like something real and something you can recognize, rather than being this very futuristic vision. Once you are in autonomous driving mode, we want to make sure that you always feel that you still have control of the vehicle. Today, that's the steering wheel and, and gas and brake pedals when, when you're driving manually. And when, when you go into delegated driving, there will be other ways of making sure that you always stay in control of what the vehicle does and where it's going. Now, you want to be able to take a step back and maybe have a bit more strategic level of control over the car. You might actually choose a route that allows you to have more time in the car. The challenge of the C26 seat was to essentially ergonomically optimize the autonomous experience. In the process of doing that, we've stripped it down to the anatomical basics of the human body, and we've essentially reinvented the automotive seat. The human brain is amazing at doing things when we're engaged, but the human brain is, isn't that great when, when we get bored. Things outside of the car start to distract us, uh, and also more and more, of course, our smart devices start to distract us. Our perspective on autonomous driving is really rooted in safety, so there is a sense of urgency in terms of, let's get this figured out so that it's safe so that it's no longer something that's going to distract a driver and cause an accident. The challenges of this, as we roll into a fully autonomous future, are to evolve this technology in ways that not only make the driving experience as safe as possible, but to enrich it with a much more meaningful experience of the time behind the wheel. We also, in this journey, discovered that autonomous driving is much more of a people story than a technology story. We found, I think, that recipe of something that people could actually see as their next car, uh, but at the same time really transform their life into something totally new.